Visual Studio Code or VS Code is one of my absolute favorite developer tools. I use it every day. I have used a bunch of different text editors over the years. I started off with Idle, which is actually built into Python, and then I moved to Emacs, then Atom, and then Sublime, and finally to VS Code. I've been using a very similar setup for around four years now, so I want to share what I have learned, different tips and tricks for customizing your setup and the extensions that I use in my text editor. So let's dive in. So I flip between two different color themes. The first one that I really like is Dracula, which is this black and pink one. But my absolute favorite that I use 90% of the time is Fairy Floss. So it's this like light purple with pink and yellow. I actually have a matching keyboard as well. So my whole office is kind of Fairy Floss themed. First off, the font itself I think is really nice, but it also has these ligatures built in. So if I type in an arrow like this, then it makes it look like an actual arrow. And you can also do like greater than or equal to, and it'll look like a greater than or equal to sign instead of a greater than or an equal. So I really like this font. I've been using it for years and years. Since I teach a lot, I really rely on autosave so that I don't have to remember to do that while I'm coding and talking to people. So what I do is I have autosave set up so that if I don't type for a thousand milliseconds, then my editor will automatically save for me. This is a total lifesaver and something that I really struggle with coding without it at this point, to be honest. I also have format on save so that whenever I save my file, it is going to automatically indent it properly, convert the quotation marks to be either single quote or double quote consistently. The library that I use mostly for JavaScript is standard JS. I personally am part of the no semicolon fan club. I know a hot take right there, but standard JS makes my JavaScript code look really nice. So I enjoy that. I use prettier for other files or just the built-in VS code formatter as well. This is built into VS code, but I really love Emmet. So Emmet allows you to write HTML by doing things like this. So div times three tab, that'll give me three divs. You could also do each one with a dot centered, and that will give me a class centered. So you can have all these really nice shortcuts built into it. I also have Emmet set up so that it works within React and Vue files. So if I go to my settings again, yeah, so if I go to my Emmet settings, you can see that I have additional languages included. So if I do like view, it's HTML. And if I do JavaScript files by default, it's gonna do JavaScript React. So and it's one of those things that if I don't have it in a project, I really struggle because typing things is difficult and it makes it much easier. I also have the terminal set up to use my ZSH terminal that matches my normal command line. I just like the way that it looks and the way that it operates. So if I'm going to use the integrated terminal, I want it to mirror the one that I use outside of VS Code too. Let's talk about the extensions that I use. So the first extension that I have installed is this code spell checker, and it's going to tell me if words are misspelled. This is really helpful for Markdown or HTML or anything along those lines where I'm writing a lot of text and I'm not using my autocomplete for variables. So if I misspell something like hello, we can see that it gets squigglies underneath it. It says unknown word, and that's a flag for me to try respelling it. I also have this Dracula theme installed. We looked at that earlier. One of my favorite things that I have installed is this ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native extension. And what this allows you to do is have little snippets for your React code. So if I go into a JavaScript file, I can do something like RFC. This will create a React function-based component for me. 
and I can do RCC for a React class component. There's a lot of other ones built in as well, but it really speeds up React development. So highly recommend that one as well if you do any React. I use Foam for note taking. It's a really, really cool methodology for taking notes where each note can link back to other ones and the links are bi-directional so you can go in either direction using them. I highly recommend it. I could do a whole video on this alone if you're interested. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Git Lens is another really helpful one if you're working with multiple people. It brings things like Git Blame directly into VS Code. Git Lens introduces a bunch of nice features for Git in VS Code. One thing that I really like is that there is git blame for each line. So if I hover over this line, for example, it says that I wrote this code a month ago with this commit first blog post. But if I was working on a project with more people, I could see who committed each line of code and what that commit was part of. I use the GraphQL extension just to syntax highlight GraphQL queries. This markdown extension allows you to do things like command B to bold words. Markdown links allows you to graphically display all of the links within your markdown document. It's for that foam tool that I was briefly hinting at before. This one allows you to navigate through markdown documents. Again, this is for that foam note taking methodology. Prettier and standard are my formatters, so these make my code look pretty nice and consistent, so definitely dependent on both of these for my code. To-do highlighting, this is a really simple one, but what you can do is like to-do, hi, and it's going to highlight that to-do, so I can write myself a little bit of a checklist directly within documents that I'm working on to do come back to this in the future and it turns yellow so it kind of jumps out on the page and Vter now I'm like how do I pronounce this Vter Vter this one has a ton of helpful things for writing view code so view syntax highlighting auto completion snippets etc so that's a little bit about my VS Code setup. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that other people can see the video. Also, please subscribe so that you can see my next videos. Have a great week.